Caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in his blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down Deep down And it's not a lie changed my mind i was not gonna show my face because i'm like not ready for the day yet but i changed my mind because this is just how it is in the morning and i'm gonna make a full pot of coffee because i am so tired i feel like i went to bed at like 11 o'clock and i don't know i woke up i'm waking up i woke up at seven so i didn't sleep in because usually i get up at like 545 6 but I still I don't know I still feel like I haven't like really slept like I still feel tired but I'm gonna have my coffee and I'm sure that will perk me up a little bit but yeah so let's get this full pot of coffee going here because I need it this Mississippi grog coffee I'm telling you guys like it is the best coffee that we've ever gotten. And Mike and I have tried lots of different kind of coffee. And I am just hooked on this stuff. I got it at Sam's. And I should look on their website to see if they still have it. Because I don't remember seeing it before. But you know what? I really don't go to Sam's Club a lot. Because I live an hour away from it. So it's kind of a special treat when I get to go. And when I do go, I usually buy a lot of stuff. I should just upgrade to the, like, premium or something it's called for $100 a year. And then they just ship everything to your house or some items to your house. Yeah. Well, because the TV was loud. Here we go. That's looking lovely. Hi, Ernie. <laughs> so I picked up three of these buttermilk biscuits at Walmart. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay them out, cut them into four sections, try to make them as equal as possible. And then we're going to put them in a bowl with one cup sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice. Mm -hmm. So we're going to melt down two sticks because two sticks equal one cup of melted down butter. It's moving. Yeah. 
pan's starting to get hot. Mm -hmm, butter. All right, now we're gonna do. I see it, it's melting. We're gonna do the remaining sugar mixture that we rolled the biscuits in. And the pan. You can put in the brown sugar, just wait. Oh yeah. Then a half a cup of brown sugar. Mm. Now this is glass, so be very careful. Oh, Hold on to the handle. I, have, I love brown sugar. Oh, that is good. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it starts boiling, we're gonna take it off and mix in the, the rest of the sugar. So you want the sugar to dissolve really good. Mm -hmm. I found my Christmas. Oh, and you're wearing a Christmas shirt. Christmas spatula and, and a Christmas shirt. Yeah, you can mix it. Gotta hold on to this part though. This part doesn't get hot. Okay, just that part. You gotta leave it on the burner. I'll help you. It's smashing the butter. I cut it in a piece. So nice and slow. My little chef. For dinner i decided i'm gonna make my own a chicken and dumpling crock pot soup and i've never made homemade chicken and dumpling and i haven't had chicken and dumpling for like years so i was just looking through some recipes and i'm like i'm gonna try making that so i'm gonna get this started in the crock pot and then we're gonna leave for a little bit we're gonna go ch check out this turkey farm and see how much they want for a turkey so i think it's like 10 minutes from our house there's this um, farmer that has like 20 turkeys walking around everywhere and we're gonna see if he's selling them which i'm sure i'm sure he does sell them but we want to go price one and see if we can get one for thanksgiving otherwise i usually use one of my meat birds for thanksgiving dinner instead of turkey but i was like let's go check out that turkey farm and try to get one organic bird you know all right, well, I'm gonna get started on dinner. It is, oh, my glass is on. It's 11.30, so I'm gonna get this going. So we have the chicken breast off of the whole chicken and these two breasts together weighed out to be about three pounds. And you only need one pound for the recipe. Like they're huge. There's one. This is the other one. So I'm I'm gonna use one of these. And so they're both about one and a half pounds. So yeah, we'll have to th think of something else to do with this guy or one of them for a different night. And then we're gonna bake this tonight in the oven or on the smoker. Uh, or on the smoker, I'm not sure yet. Whatever Mike wants to do with that. All right, so we're gonna add our chicken, broth, carrots, onions, and seasonings. I unfortunately, I don't have celery. So this recipe, you're supposed to put one cup of celery. I don't have that. So here is one chicken breast, and this is about a pound and a half. Set that in, and then you need a quart of chicken broth, and I pulled this out of the freezer. This is our chicken broth that we made homemade. Still a little bit frozen, but it'll melt eventually. And then one, one cup carrot. I don't have fresh carrots, so I just pulled out a can. Oh, 
one cup of diced yellow onion. There's that. And then I have the seasoning grinder. It has a bunch of different seasoning in it. so good. I got this from Sam's Club also. I wonder if it says all the ingredients. It does. Dried garlic, salt, dried onion, spices, dried chili pepper, basil, oregano, rosemary, sage, and thyme. And it has pepper. It does have black pepper in it too. I'm just going to add a little bit of extra salt. So, like I said, if you're going to cook the chicken on high, do it for three hours, low for seven hours. I'm going to do ours on low because we're about to leave. What, baby? I'm just I'm just out here. Okay, hold on. Through the snow, bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy, so giddy up, root of my dear. plant Sissy's uh, nuts that she got the other day for the squirrels. Where's a good spot? Nope, not there. The squirrels are going to be so happy. No, no, no. Sissy, right here. Just dump it out. Right here. Right here? Right here. Oh yeah, they're yeah. gonna they're gonna try to take all of it. Oh, they're gonna be so happy. <coughs> yeah, I'm try. Okay, leave them there. Leave leave them there. Okay, good job. We'll see if we can see some squirrels later on. Okay. So we are on our way to the turkey farm, and hopefully we can bring one home today. I'm thinking not because they're gonna have to butcher it and do a bunch of stuff with it. So maybe just order one today. Um, these guys are excited though to see all the turkeys. Yay! Aren't ya? Yeah. 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 It's gonna be fun. But yeah, got our camo gear on. Me and Mike has, have matching shirts. You can't see this though, cause, okay, there you go. Yeah, you can see it. Um, but yeah. Hopefully we can show you guys some turkeys because they have a bunch of them. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? Everywhere, all over the yard. Look at all. Are those geese up there? Oh, those are turkeys. it all become for granted with a wedding?
this is the duck. Okay. And this is the turkey. Now that's the turkey. Yeah, that's the turkey. Oh, that's some big meat. Yeah. He just the head. So here I am making the slurry for the soup, which is really funny because I had to Google what that actually meant. I've never heard of the term slurry before for thickening up your soup. So I learned something new that day. So I just took two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of evaporated milk, mix that in really good. Then another two tablespoons of, or I actually did a little bit more because you can dump the whole can um, into your soup. So I just did like three or four, maybe five tablespoons of evaporated milk, mixed that in really good, added it to the soup, mixed well. And like I said, I did not put the entire can of evaporated milk into the soup. I just tossed it. But if you would like, you can add the remaining um, evaporated milk to your soup. Okay, so before I couldn't really explain what I was doing because the kids were in the kitchen and they were still freaking out over the turkey, so it was really really loud in here, but now they're in the sunroom watching a Halloween movie, so peace and quiet. So for the dumplings, I'm gonna be putting in two cups of flour, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of baking powder, Teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of pepper. Which I don't even think I have a teaspoon worth because pepper's almost gone too. One tablespoon of fresh thyme. I do not have that, so I'm just gonna use my season grinder just a little bit. I'm gonna whisk this together. So I already shredded my chicken and it, it just fell apart. I didn't even have to take it out of the crock pot to do it, I just did it right inside the crock pot. Then make a little, like a tiny hole in the center there. And then we're gonna be adding four tablespoons of melted butter. Three fourth cup of whole milk, and I do not have whole milk, so I'm just gonna be using 2% milk. All right, now we're just gonna mix this in, and ta-da, we have doubling dough. First time ever making dumplings. I feel like my grandma, I I think I've had my grandma's homemade dumpling soup before, but man, that was forever ago. And then it does say if it's dry, you can add a tablespoon of milk. I think I might have to do that. Maybe not. I don't know. I really don't know. I think it looks good. This looks good. I believe so anyways. All right, let's get ready to drop our dumplings in. So we're gonna try to drop these in when <clears throat> you want them kind of spread apart. And if they do clump together, it sounds like it's pretty easy to break them apart. So. So I wanted to feed the kids earlier tonight because there's a scary movie that comes out tonight and me and Mike wanted to watch it. But on the way home from getting our turkey and duck, uh, we took a little detour and took the kids on a deer ride. So that was a lot of fun, but now it's getting kind of late. 
Honestly though, I don't even know if TNZ and TK would like this kind of soup. They're kind of, at this age, they're kind of picky. TNZ likes a lot of meat. So we can always get her to eat like steak or like burgers or really anything like that. But um, I don't know. I just feel like something like this they'd be kind of picky about. Tegan, he's a really picky eater. Yeah, this really makes a lot. Yikes. So it says in the recipe to push the dumplings down so the soup is over them, like that. And then you cover this, cook it for an hour. After an hour, take one dumpling out, cut into it, and see if they're cooked through all the way. Maybe I should crank it up on high. Don't really want to like overcook the chicken though either. Yeah, well, it's okay. Some of them I made a little bit bigger than others, but I wish my mom was here. She would love to try this. So I just kind of like push them down under the soup. And then we'll check back in an hour to see if they are done. Definitely comfort food right here. It looks so good. So I took a butter knife and I just kind of cut into the dumpling because it kind of baked together into one big dumpling. So I just took a knife and kind of broke it apart and then I just peeled one back and it looks like that it's done. So we're gonna eat, it's kind of late. And I hope you guys try this recipe and I will talk to you tomorrow.